Hello and welcome to a new video and today we are on the island of Sao Miguel and it is day 5 of our cruise with the Mineschiff Herz and as you can see on the map we arrived here early in the morning from Tercera and after leaving at 10 in the evening we sailed back to the Canary Islands. I woke up very early in the morning to film my ship tour that you maybe already saw and in the background you can already see the first lights of Sao Miguel and then during breakfast we docked in Ponta Delgada, the capital of the island Sao Miguel and also the main city of the Azores Islands. Ponta Delgada does have a cruise terminal and soon after we docked there we left the ship and just simply called a taxi by checking for a phone number on Google and calling and it took about five minutes and the taxi was there and brought us to the airport where I rented a car. We chose six because they had the best offer and then we made our own excursion on the island with the rental car and our first destination was Caldera Velha which is a small park where you need to pay to access it. It's not too expensive and if you want you can even swim here. There are some hot springs or you can just visit it to enjoy the amazing nature and there are even some animals like frogs. And this is the main side, this waterfall in front of this pool and you can even swim in this pool if you want to. But as we did not have too much time we decided to just give it a quick look and continue on to our next destination which was a Miraduro which is a viewpoint of the Lagoa do Fogo but it was so foggy and rainy that there was absolutely nothing to see. I tried to park and walk up there but as soon as I arrived at the viewpoint I just turned and went back down because there was absolutely nothing to see, only fog. So we took the car back down the mountain and we almost arrived back in Ponta Delgada where we started our excursion. So right now we already crossed the island from south to north and back. Now we're heading east to the city of Fuenash which is famous for its fumaroles. And the first part of the way there is very simple to drive. It is like a highway, two lanes, and you are allowed to go up to 100 kilometers per hour. So this is going very quickly until at some point it will turn into a regular street, which is also quite easy to drive. It's a wide street with not too tight corners, but this will change later on. Then we will have a lot of serpentines. In general, I would say driving on Sao Miguel is, for example, way easier than on the Canary Islands because even the smaller streets are usually with two lanes. But still, there are quite a few different rules when it comes to roundabouts, for example. And in general, there are a lot of serpentines, small villages. So you do have to be a confident driver to drive on Sao Miguel. But if you feel confident, I highly recommend doing it because you will see way more than with a guided excursion. And in our case, it was also much cheaper. We paid about 80 euros for the rental car, including full insurance and unlimited kilometers. And together with fuel, it was about 110 euros. And this is exactly the price that a half day excursion with TUI Cruises would have cost us. So we saw way more for about the same price. So if you feel confident and if you are into organizing things, I can recommend taking a rental car on this island. And here we are in Fornash. After going through the narrow streets of the beautiful village, we arrived at the fumaroles. There you can just park your car very close to it. And then you can walk to a small park right next to the fumaroles. Of course, you cannot go directly to the fumaroles because the temperature of the water there is up to 98 degrees. So it would be very dangerous to go into the water. And that's why you have to keep a bit of a distance. But as you can see, you're getting pretty close. The park itself is also very nice with a lot of flowers and blossoms and on the Azores you will have the same climate throughout the year so even in February there are already some blossoms.
And here we have one of the fumaroles that you can get pretty close to. So you can go into the steam and then you will realize that the water contains sulfur and of course you will smell it. So it is not the nicest smell. It's not too nice to be in the steam. Even though it is quite nice and warm, the smell is really, really strong. But still, it is very, very impressive to see what nature is capable of. And it is also very nice proof that this is an active volcanic island. And after seeing the fumaroles, we continued our tour to the eastern part of the island. And if you are going east behind Furnash, you will see that the streets are getting much smaller. There will be more serpentines. And it's a bit harder to drive there because this is not the most touristic part of the island anymore. Most tourists will be between the west coast of the island and Furnash. The east coast does not have many main sites and bigger cities. So that's why this part is a bit harder to drive, but it's still very simple to drive. If you like driving cars, you will really enjoy driving here because the streets are amazing. Our next destination were two Miraduros, which are viewpoints. The first one is called Ponta da Madrugada and the second one is called Ponta do Sosego. And both of them are very nice, not only because of the landscape and the view, but also because there are a lot of cats. Those cats are not stray cats. Somebody is taking care of them. They have food, so they just live there. And some of these cats really hope that you pet them. So this is the perfect place to go if you like cats. And also the view is just stunning. These viewpoints are quite high above the Atlantic Ocean. So you can see the coastline and the ocean. So it's a very nice view. And also those viewpoints come with a big park, which is very well maintained and looked after. It's, as you can see, looking very, very nice. And it does not only offer amazing views, as you can see here, and amazing cats. It also has public toilets, enough parking spaces, and there are some grills available if you want to take a longer break. So these two viewpoints are absolutely worth a visit if you're making a tour around the island. In general, if you see Miraduro somewhere, that means viewpoint, and many of them are very nice. So. Usually it's worth stopping there. And after that we continued our tour. This was the most eastern part of the island. So we are now heading back to the western part of the island. And here we have a highway again. So from here on it's quite easy to drive. And it will be much faster to get from A to B here on the northern part of the island. And our next destination is a waterfall. It is called Ribeira dos Caldeiroes. And it also comes with a park that is more or less like a museum, like an open air museum, where you can get some information about how the uh, people on the island are using the power of water. There are some water mills that you can visit. And also the park is looking very nice, also very well maintained. And in the park is another waterfall. It's an artificial waterfall, but still worth a visit. Parking spaces are limited. We were here in February, which is for sure not the main season and still there were not too many left so in summer it might be difficult to get a parking lot here so maybe you should not come here during the main visiting time but maybe more in the morning or in the evening and also you see on the side are a lot of the ginger lilies that i talked about in the last videos here you can clearly see why they are a problem because there are so many of them and they are a danger for the local plants And here we can see the main waterfall and as you can see it is really really beautiful and also here there's a small park and you can walk around a little bit you can get even pretty close to the waterfall and enjoy it from different angles so Ribeira dos Caldeiros is also worth a visit and it's just a few minutes away from the highway so if you're not visiting the park itself it will just take a few minutes to see it we continued our tour on the highway heading west and our next stop 
was something special. It is a tea plantation. We chose the company Cha do Porto Formoso. There are two companies on the island and the special thing is that there are only three companies in the whole of Europe that have a commercial tea plantation. Two of them are on this island and one is in the UK, so this is something very special. There you can watch a movie about the history of the company and you will get a cup of tea for free and then you can buy the tea of course and just a very few other products, but it's not too touristy. So the main product is the tea and it's also very affordable. Then we continued on back to Ponta Delgada and there we visited a pineapple plantation. There are a lot of them around Ponta Delgada. We chose to visit a company called Planta Sao, the Ananas dos Azores. And there you have a small exhibition. You can walk through the plantation and you can try different products with pineapple, like pineapple beer, pineapple schnapps or pineapple ice cream. But of course you can also drink a, a very fresh pineapple juice, which of course tastes even better. And then we continued on to another Miraduro, another viewpoint where you have a perfect view over almost the whole of the island. And just a few hundred meters later there was the next stop and we stopped at an aqueduct which was used to transport water on the island. Of course it's not in use anymore but it is still around and the nature took it back. It's very impressive to see it's completely green looking very nice also very nice photo motif so it's also worth a visit and also just a few hundred meters away from the street. But here you can see how quickly the weather can change on the Azores. As we started walking the sun was shining and later on we could barely see anything because of the fog and the rain. And then just a few hundred meters later we arrived at the most famous viewpoint of the island which is the Miraduro da Vista do Rey. And from up here you have a perfect view of the Lagoa Verde and Lagoa Azul which means the green lake and the blue lake. Those lakes are in a crater, the biggest one on the island and this is the most famous viewpoint of the Azores. So if you are checking on the internet for pictures from the ASOS, most probably you will first, you will find a picture of this view. And right next to it is an abandoned hotel. It was one of the first tries for commercial tourism on the island, but it failed and now it's just a ruin. And we continued down into the crater to the city of Sete Citades and there are some more amazing viewpoints on the way. And now slowly the sun started to set, which gave us very amazing light to take some pictures. You can see our nice car we rented for the day it was a Renault Capture and to be honest I was not a big fan of Renault I never drove one I don't have a specific reason why I was not a big fan but it was just not a car that I would have chosen but I was very surprised how nice the car is I had a lot of fun with it it was a nice car for these amazing roads here as you can see a lot of serpentines and of course there was a lot of fun driving here and of course there are different rental car companies on the island. I usually try to rent my car with Europe Car or Sixth, like the big companies that you will find everywhere. So just to be sure to avoid a scam or any problems. I think on an island like Sao Miguel without mass tourism you can also choose the local companies on other islands like the Canaries. You need to be a bit more careful but here I think it is also safe to choose the local companies. But it was also a very good price offered to us by Sixth. We just paid about 80 euros for the rental car for the full day including insurance. So this is absolutely fine. And then we continued to the westernmost part of the island and then we went back to Ponta Delgada but we didn't took the direct route on the south coast because we wanted to also see the missing part that we haven't seen yet on the north coast. And at about 7 in the evening we arrived back at the airport of Ponta Delgada, called another taxi that brought us back to the ship. 
So we still had a lot of time left and we even added two more stops to our plan because I'm always planning with a lot of extra time and as we did not need this extra time we could just add a few more stops. This is also what I would recommend for you, to you if you're planning a private excursion like this. Always plan a lot of extra time just in case something goes wrong. For example we had to wait five minutes for the taxi it could have also happened that we had to wait an hour so in this case always plan some extra time and if you don't need it you can just add another stop. And here we are back on our beautiful Mindchef hats and at 10 in the evening we left the port of Ponta Delgada and we are now heading back to the Canary Islands. And that is it for this video. I hope it was interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider to comment, like, subscribe or share the video link. As always, here you can see when my next video will be uploaded and the name of the song. And I hope to see you in my next video.